Recently, Numismatics lost a good friend. Steve Sanders of Sanders Trading Company passed away. Here at the TNA convention, we talked to some of the dealers that knew him as a friend and as a dealer to find out what their thoughts were about him as a man and the way he lived his life. I've known Steve for almost uh, 20 years. He was just one of the true professionals in, in the coin business. He was one of those guys that you come to, he shoot straight with you, offer you a fair deal. And besides that, he's, he handles some of the, the greatest coins, the, the rarest coins and everything. We'd always see Steve with lots of gold, uh, lots of type coins and high dollar coins. Uh, he just had that glow about him. He was excited about the business. You know, it was not only just a business, but it was a passion, a collection of collecting for, for years and years from when he was younger. So uh, he was one of those uh, guys that uh, you always wanted to be around, hang around, uh, and uh, it, it's sad to see that he's gone. We'll miss him. I've known Steve for close to 40 years. Steve was a fine man. He's uh, an ex-Green Beret. Uh, his integrity and character is uh, ab above uh, reproach. He is one of the finest men that I've known in this business. Uh, Steve is one of those guys that uh, would do anything to help you. He was, not, he was a competitor, but at the same time, he, uh, he mentored a lot of young men and women in this profession and also uh, took care of his clientele in a very professional manner. Excellent man. Yes, I did know Steve Sanders. I've known Steve Sanders for about four or five years now. Uh, we actually met at this show the first time. Uh, he is really a good guy. I, I'm going to really miss him. Uh, and we lost a good bullion dealer to the community. He was a strong bullion dealer in this market. We will miss him uh, in this game. I didn't know Steve. I knew Steve for about 20 years. He was a very fine gentleman. I was honored to be set up uh, next to him at many trade shows. One of the things that I really admired about Steve is he was a lot more than just a dealer. He was a, he was a collector also. And he didn't treat coins as commodities as some people do. And I really respected and admired that about Steve. He had a very interesting inventory and it was always a lot of fun to look at and talk to him about it. Steve was one of the good guys. And unfortunately, it always seems that, that, that the good Lord wants the good guys with him rather than down here. Uh, he was one of those type of guys that would do anything for you. You ask, hey Steve, didn't make any difference what, what, what he had going on. He'd stop, he'd try to help you. Um, and that doesn't happen throughout the industry. Uh, he was, for us, he was always there to say, hey, you ought to come to the, uh, the Houston, the Money Show of the Southwest, because I go, because I find it to be very successful. You all ought to come along. Well, for us, that's a great plug. And he didn't have to do that. He just does it because that was Steve. New Steve, uh, I'd say pretty well. He, um, he and I have uh, talked and been friends over the years, uh, I guess for the last 15 years or so. Uh, I set up next to him at a lot of the shows in this area. He has always been a gentleman with me. He's treated me very well. I've got to tell you, I have the highest respect for Steve, without a doubt. He uh, also had some of the nicest coins I have ever seen of anybody in the country. Uh, he, he carried incredible coins, and i got to tell you, Steve will be missed. Steve is one of the fine, was one of the fine gentlemen in the industry. Uh, I never heard anybody have anything negative to say about Steve. I remember the first time I met him. It was nearly 25 years ago at a fun show when a, a mutual friend, Greg Lauderdale, um, introduced me to him and we went to dinner that night. And it was the first time I ever had Gator. And so for the longest time, Steve referred to me as Gator. Um, again, he was a wonderful man, had an eye for quality, a love for the hobby, uh, and he will surely be missed. I do know Steve Sanders. I know him fairly well. I've done some business with him over the years. Uh, my brother recently was wanting to get involved in numismatics to some degree and, and buy some gold. And I hooked him up with Steve Sanders and they had developed a pretty good relationship. And 
that was my story with him. He has a lot of really good things to say about Steve, and I really feel sad that we've lost him. I didn't know Steve well. I never heard anything but praise for the man. It's, it's, it's incredibly sad because he was a great guy. He was very, very well respected. And a lot of guys, it's taken a little uh, of the wind out of the show here because he, he's a great guy.